Welcome back to the Apple Juice Apple for Two juice podcast. Apple Juice for Two. This is episode Apple number 31. 31. Mm-hmm. 31 episodes of the Apple Juices. Um, juice. Go back and listen to all the juices on anywhere. This episode is going to be jam packed with some fun stories. Some and juice. Cringy, out. funny juice stuff. Also, some like. Su- I would say, in my opinion, like semi-serious stuff in Don't culture coming, but just like funny feelings. also. Uh, but we're gonna get into all that. Check it, check um, it. Introductions, because we do have someone else in the studio tonight, yeah. but you uh, can't so see him. Not yet. Well, uh, yeah. Do we have any filming of him? Uh, no. We are, yeah. So I guess we're gonna hide his. We're gonna face. hide his sight. We're gonna be face reveal hide. at a million. Yeah, you, know, you can point the camera to yourself if you want. Oh, I just, I'm oh, just I'm sorry, I spoiled the surprise. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. So I guess, yeah, I'll introduce him first. We do have Keon in the house. Woo! We did uh, promo his song last week. Run in. It was dope. Glad to be here, boys. Yeah, so <laughs> glad so you're here. Him in person. I feel like we're or like Albert the breakfast Buttocks. club or something. Yeah, man, thanks for coming to hang out. No doubt. Let's yeah. get this show on the road. Um, Dude, whoa, hey, hey, well, it was. Let's intro and back order. So now we got Cameron, our producer. What's up? Yes, we've heard from him. Lil Zay. <laughs> and me, Brevin. Pleasure to be here with all of you, gentlemen. It's it's yeah, a blessing to be you here. You as well, likewise, yes. darling. Igualmente. Lovely we could all work our schedule out. To <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we could link up, guys. Studio I'm point. glad our schedule's synced up and our we were able to align, you know, we're make able this to happen. Make some more juice yeah. per yeah. usual. It was uh, well, yeah, well, I, as Previn and Isaiah said, we have like... Uh, this is probably the most jam-packed Apple Juice for Two episode. Uh, Watch us get episodes. through it in like tw- 30 minutes. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Because we just have found the most stuff. Okay, the well, juice. first off, Let's find out. Uh, Brevin. Yes. Isaiah and I have a story to tell you. Story to tell. Oh, I love stories. Tell. Yep. Story we have tell to tell you. I'll leave it story. to most. Yeah, Isaiah, take it away. All right. Well, uh, so, uh, you know, me and Cameron, you know, I came over, yeah, I think last Friday to the stool, you know, we was yeah. making, making beats, you know, messing around and stuff. And uh, Cameron looked at me. He said, uh, hey, man, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I said, uh, okay, what do you want? He said, uh, schlop. Yep. He just said schlop. I, schlop. I, I, said, schlop I, I know a good schlop place, and I uh, took him to Waffle House. Mm-hmm. And uh, we go to Waffle House, you know, we're chilling. And uh, we see all these like, cop cars like uh, on, on the little exit. Just hanging out? And I'm like, what? Hanging out? I'm like, well, it's going on here. Well, I had a lot of cop cars here. I don't know if I feel very comfortable going to all this uh, <laughs> cop cars, you know. <laughs> and uh, we go there, and... There's these guys kind of kind of approached us. Not necessarily approached, but they kind of walked in uh, and waffled us the same time we did. And um, there's the the whole place was like fucking booked and shit. And uh, yeah, there's no places to sit at all, so we were just standing around like waiting. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like it's, it's packed. Yeah, we were, yeah. So we literally like hella packed. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, the server, bless her heart, amazing woman. She she served she served us well. She uh, cleaned off the table for us, and it was just me and Cameron sitting. And then I looked at camera. I'm like, oh, we gotta have those guys over. We got, we got to, bro. And he's like, nah, oh, fuck nah. <laughs> <laughs> that Liddy, that was that was Liddy. Camera was like, oh, bro. Yeah, no. He's like, you, you well, I just, yeah. And the, the only reason though is that I just like thought that they were two strangers. But apparently, I, Isaiah knew of yeah, one. I met of one of them. Yeah, I met just, one of them. Yeah, okay, you had met him before. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And I'm like, oh, I mean, like, like but the reason they had got there was actually really interesting. Yeah. So the reason why there was like all those cop cars right there were apparently the guy Liddy just bought. A limo that day, and while they were driving, not even they had no intention of going to Waffle House. No, their, no, 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 no. Their their wheel literally flew off from the fucking car, and just like I don't know, I don't know what the wheel is. I, I'd be fucking. I want to find that goddamn wheel, but it's probably gone forever. From the but, limo? Yeah, literally just fucking ripped off that shit. So they just kind of like just like got the the fucking limo towed and just left it, and they went to Waffle House, and they're like, we kind of talked to them like uh, when we were just kind of waiting for our table to be ready, uh-huh. and they were like, oh, come sit with us, and they were fucking pretty cool. Shit paid for our fucking waffle house. We had nice. one of the greatest discussions, greatest conversations we like I think I've ever had with an older adult. Gave us some of the greatest <laughs> advice. That's true. He really he I taught mean, yeah. me how to do a better New York accent. Cameron yeah. actually Cameron and I had to do a better New York accent. It was really uh-huh. cool. So usually I go like, Yeah, I'm from New York. But it's actually, yeah, I'm from New York. You see what the fuck is the problem? He said to slow it down. Don't do it so fast. He said, Slow it down like that. All right. So fucking Keon, you're looking at me over there. What's your fucking problem? I told you I had the gabagool set on the plate and you fucking did something to it. Where's your fucking manners, Keon? Listen, fam. Where the Tim's at? We get fucked ass up. That's 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 just not that's just not New York. It's not New York, but I mean that's a part of the culture. Tim's? Yeah. 
Yeah, I know, but you could. You're supposed to say it in a New York accent. You're supposed to like, oh, you're. Hey, I'm walking here. There yeah, yeah, I'm Where's walking here too. Lobster? What? No, that's Massachusetts. You fucking dumbass. <laughs> or Maine? Is it Maine or? No, but the character is in Massachusetts. He could still be from New York. No, well, anyway, no. yeah, that, that's that's about it. But, but apparently, did you say that this guy's hella rich? Hella rich. A yeah. lot of money on that. Owns like a lot of houses or whatever. Cops off or something. No, he just paid for our meal, and it was just kind of interesting. It was just like an <laughs> anecdote. We got free Waffle House and didn't try. I said you um, should have went in that limo. It, it's, it's, that, it's I like wish. A six out of ten story at max. So we, we can move <laughs> on. It's all good. On um, to the next one. So yeah. this one, this one, uh, this one, this is a little bantery for me. But I want Brevin to tag That's on. True. There is some controversy on this one. But, but uh, I yeah. think it might be one of those where like oh, wait, what we come we down to it, and it's not controversial at all. Um, yeah. And it's just been hyped. But it is like it's still interesting to see and like get people's takes on. Right. Oh my god! It's also just a funny video. So it's Adam Levine doing a concert. Yeah. And this lady just jumps on. Which, okay, it's like, for a high-level musician like that, that's kind of, that could be jarring. Yeah. yeah. So he's been doing this a while. He is like a fucking pop star. Yeah. Um, he also looks really funny when he's singing. It looks like he's getting <laughs> stabbed in the back. Just <laughs> like... Uh, that just shows so you how she, passionate he is. She comes up behind him. She's wearing a mask. Oh, my God. Whatever she's that so means. so COVID conscious. Oh, my God. Uh, take it as you will. But she, like, <laughs> comes up and, like, grabs... She's like... She grabs his arm and her sexually, shoulder. Sexually harasses him. That's what that is. I mean... But, I mean, with the double standard. Wait, does she really uh, sexually harass him, though? How? She, like, grabs, I mean, it's unwanted. It's, 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 like the, it's definitely unwanted. It's like an endearing yeah, hug he, that she's giving him, but he's yeah. clearly caught off guard. She, right. she, like, grabs him from behind, and he, like... He stops singing, and is just like, What? And he's like, the and then, fuck? Yeah. yeah. Definitely like, yeah, <laughs> Get um, off me. Harass me. Really. Well, you so, know what? I just feel like there's a time and place for everything. So when yeah. he's in the middle of performing, I don't think that's the best time to go up to him and do that. Or at all. I mean, there was a, I'm sure you saw the clip of the little baby concert where the guy went up on stage trying mm-hmm. to dap him up and he was like waiting for security uh-huh. to come get him. Like, it's just there's a time and place for everything. Well, and that would be like a smaller music show because like that happens. I've done that before at a smaller music show. Right. Before, yeah. Like at, with, you know, like rock and roll and stuff. You know, when you're just like rocking out yeah, in the club with the boys, out. like people get on stage and they dance around. But that's like there are a lot of people on stage and like it's obviously a thing and then they're jumping off. Yeah. Right. Like when there's no one else on stage and it's like a pop person like Adam and there's security Wilson. monitoring like the stage like i don't, I don't know how that right. person got in that's true that's a good point but people are basically like defending what that girl did like why why did he react like that that's so mean of him i'm like i don't want anybody so, while so i'm the, performing so to, he was supposed to, to just like just oh no he should have been he should have been cool with it that, essentially that, that's what they're, they're the what they're youtube saying. comments are pretty in favor of him are they really that's good yeah the top that's comments good. that's good. good so like what what are the articles that I saw, no, it was right. comments from Liddy like Liddy the TikTok where it said like oh, there was like the people there's actually a girl who reacted and she's like I am disgusted I got whenever we can off to find that video like I can't believe he did that like we like we're his fans and like, like I, I I saw a comment that said we make him I was like whoa was why like, would you want to associate with someone who jumps on stage okay ima- like, 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 that's, you, what, imagine if separate. he like lets it happen and the, then everybody's gonna Every, get on stage yeah. and that's a why do you want to be a part of that that's not what you want to that's not how you treat someone you like. Yeah, I also feel like that's a cop out by resorting to that. Like he clearly knows that the fans are the reason why he's here now. But Mm -hmm. you just got to be empathetic about it. You have to put yourself in his position and understand that. I mean, if you're performing like I'm not expecting someone to come up on me and run and and hug me like that. Yeah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. We all fan out over someone like Mm -hmm. we're going to get excited. We're going to get goosebumps, all that. But you just got to know what the boundaries are. There's. there's definitely a, exceeded, a, no, she definitely exceeded them all right. And he can react however he wants because she went way too far. And if it is really upsetting to him, that's fine. That's fine at all. He's, yeah, exactly. his, his if you have a problem with that, justified. screw off. And then you shouldn't be his fan. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, his reaction wasn't that it bad. Wasn't, it wasn't bad. It, like it wasn't bad. If you would have hit her... If you like right now start yelling in her face like, You stupid bitch, what are you doing? You need to die! That would be like, whoa. That would be like... Whoa! Okay. You're calling the cops on Adam Levine. But it's just, yeah, it's like I get that feeling. It's like it's like someone who is like, oh yeah, and you like just really don't want it. Like oh, don't. Because a, do a lot that, of celebrities please. that's happened a lot. So I don't know if y'all have seen the clip of some fan jumping on the little crane that Michael Jackson was going up on back in like the eighties or nineties. Yeah. And his it, the funny thing is I found out that he actually was like the reason why he was holding that person so tight because if that person falls, lawsuit. The yeah, biggest you know, lawsuit right? of fucking all time. Mike was holding on to him too. He's holding like, on, was, but like it's just like that's just not. I I would never not to be mean to him, 
I would never want to just jump on stage and like hug Adam Levine. Like I don't, I don't think yeah, I would ever real, feel. Bro. I would never feel Gross. that moved to do something. But not, no disrespect to him at all. He's a great singer, but yeah. it's just like bro. face though. Which, by the way, there are a lot of other musicians who would have reacted way worse way, than that. Like way, it could, it yeah. could go. Oh, like especially with a female singer. Like if it was Billie Eilish and a. Oh my God. A male if, if it was that, like, dude, if it was Billie Eilish, tackled. They would have got, they would have gotten sniped. Yeah, it like, she, that person would have gotten sniped. Like all the white knights in the crowd would have jumped up and like, <laughs> like beat him up together. All the like, all the little like e girls would be like posting. This guy just ran up on stage and touched they would my find Billie his Eilish. Family and like email his mother that she's a horrible person for giving birth to him. They would be abs- They would dox this person and be like, "We're gonna kill him because he touched Billie Eilish. We're gonna, we're gonna remove his hand." Okay, no, okay, it's like, <laughs> no, that's what's gonna happen, Cameron. <laughs> Mark my words. That's true. Mark my but you words. know what? It's also the time era that we're in. If this is like 2002, we don't have like iPhones and all this stuff to people yeah, record right. and put on social it's media. So now it's to another level to where it's way big of a conversation as opposed to what it would have been. Like, two yeah, really, ago. what we're talking about now is his reaction. And like, also, it's <laughs> like um, it's just I feel like it's more of a safety thing than it is a yeah. uh, than it is a sexual like a gender thing. Yeah, yeah safety first. Safety first. That is safety first. Oh, you know what we did forget to um, address What's so rudely of us? Oh, oh no. Uh, it's coming back to me. Can you guys say it? Can you guys yep. guess it? Uh, Wait, what? Lil Zay's got some fresh hair on that on that noggin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like your cut, G. I uh, appreciate <laughs> yeah. it. You know, I got the little I got the little thing Twisty. thing. I got the little twist in my hair. I'll, I'll give a little That's shake real quick. Tradition. <gasps> Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. oh, oh, yeah, get it. Oh. Y'all gotta be in studio to see this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you gotta oh, be in the man. studio. <laughs> oh, wow, but wow. yeah, but yeah, like I said, just like on to the next one, really. I mean, I think we, yeah. have, I think we said everything. Yeah, we, we have to. Yeah. The, Similar um, line we, about we can spare band a second stuff, here. except this Bam. time we do not like them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Justified. This Ooh. is this is bad. So you have probably heard of little band called Greta Van Fleet. Or as I call them, Greta Van, Poop. Gre- Greta Van Feet. Ooh. Because nice. they, they're stinky feet. Hey, don't say feet around me too much. I might like it. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I'm going to turn you <laughs> on to Greta Van Feet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they're basically just Led Zeppelin, but now. Yeah. Um, like, it's the style of music, at least. So they're this boy band, basically. They're a group of brothers. Yeah, they really are a boy band. They're not rock yeah. stars. I mean, they, like, they play rock music and the instruments and stuff, but essentially they're a boy band, you know what I mean? They're emulating rock stars. Well, okay, to a T, essentially. These first two um, links in that first line, mm-hmm. Highway Tune versus The Rover. Let's see. This is a comparison, so we can listen and get an example of... Um, mm-hmm. one of the. These are one of the main examples that people accuse them of just flat-out plagiarism. Not even... You know, like obviously the conversation, especially with musicians, a lot of the time is like you know, and even all art is um, inspiration, credit, all these things. These dumb lawsuits with like Ed Sheeran and other people. A lot yeah. of it is just lawyers seeing the opportunity to be able to win a case and then make the money off of it, and then they do it because they're able to through mm-hmm. whoever works with that artist or whatever. But um, yeah, these people are obviously it's just like too too hard to ignore that it's not an obvious ripoff and the thing that really makes it bad is that they say that they've never even heard of led zeppelin yeah which for first of all doesn't like how do you have you not heard of led zeppelin especially if you play rock and roll even if you're not like Uh most people have heard of led zeppelin you know what? It's like Fleetwood Mac. If you say you haven't heard of them, then you know you're you're in some hot. You water. might box. not really know what their music is, but you've heard of that name. Exactly. Like you know they're a band. Guitar Hero taught me what who <laughs> that Led Zeppelin was. <laughs> so I'm I know not the gonna, classics. I'm not. Let's not say who did the two songs. I'm just gonna play one, and we'll play the other just a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. So this is this is A or B. Here is A. <laughs> Yeah, the four F one fifty. Do you need something with ten thousand pounds of torque? We got it right here at Ford. The music video gives it away. This is the, that's all I needed. Yeah, you get the idea. That's all it's I a needed. The rock song that sounded pretty cool. It was a nice instrumental. Oh, I I have muted this one. It's okay. This is B. This is. 
obviously the Zeb that we know at this point. And like, it doesn't sound exactly like it right away, you know, in the way they built it up. Um, I mean, obviously it just Not kind of, songs, if you have a general idea of Led Zeppelin's listen, discography. Listen to his voice too, though. The vocals are exactly, very similar. Yeah. You, should, you could skip to like the closer to the middle, Isaiah. We get the idea. Like, yeah, a lot. It's, yeah, exactly, yeah. And the thing is, is like, it's a lot of energy, bro. Yeah, I like, I like it. Be, um, he, I could be Led Zeppelin. He, like, <laughs> imitates his voice down to a T. Yeah, he well, does it really well. They definitely are talented. Like, that's, true, yeah. they're, that's that. like, this song. It's like, that sounds good. It doesn't sound bad, but. Oh, yeah, they're it's talented. Fucking Led Zeppelin. Like, we don't know who they are. Okay, but click, on, click on that next link to see what um, obviously the Robert Lane, Plant, the lead singer of Led Zeppelin, what he thinks about yeah. <laughs> these boys. Greta Van Feet. They are Led Zeppelin One. Yeah, Led like, Zeppelin One is in their first album. That's looks like he's just dropped out of a kind of a beautiful little singer. He stopped himself yeah. from I've saying them. something. Yeah. They're really, really young. Yeah, I've seen him and I hate him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, he's boy. got such a huge voice that young yeah, fella and he borrowed it from somebody I know very well. <laughs> he talks like such a boomer, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? I can't. It's okay. Have you, have, do you know? Has he? Has he tried you know? to meet you? Have you? Has he met been, you? Been, 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 no, no. I mean, at least he's got a bit of style because he said he based his whole style on Aerosmith. Yeah. It was just that's so. Which is lame, by the exactly. way. Stage. Don't. It is. Which is basically Steven Tyler, that's like. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. He is with like fourteen-year-old girls and calls them his girlfriend. That's who you want to be. Uh, uh, yeah. Like really, what with I think is going on is like there's clips of. We're gonna get to some clips of them just being them because that is where you really they really shine and you can see them for who they are. But like I've Fair seen much. clips of them in high school and they were theater kids. Like they're not rock stars. They're not musician type. They're theater kids. Yeah. Which I mean, is everybody music, is but high it's a very a, so it's like they're they're point. playing rock stars. It's like a musical, and he's doing the rock Greta part. Van Fleet, the musical, yeah, coming at true. you live. Dude, I would not yeah. be surprised. Or, no, it's Led Zeppelin, the musical, this. which is Greta Van Fleet. Brev Zeppelin people signed are them eating off. it Brev up. Zeppelin, yes, true. <laughs> this would, I mean, this would be um, like Greta Van Fleet. Just like reminds me of like Glee. You know, people who like Glee and mm -hmm. Disney a lot. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. and, and, yeah. and they don't do it very Hamilton. well. Like it's very well produced. I'm sure Disney owns Hamilton in some way, shape, or form. They do. It's on Disney Plus. Oh yeah, they so, do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Somehow they do. Yeah. <laughs> they do. I knew they. They do. Yeah, I actually yeah. knew that. The guy told me that down on Third Street. <laughs> They're always a part of that bigger conglomerate. They are. Yeah. Dude, Disney is behind everything. That, most things that we actually talk Disney, about. Disney like literally owns us somehow. Frankly, <laughs> probably. Dude, dude, ESPN. I mean, you yeah, know, they own ESPN. Everything. I'm sure they own ABC. Um, they own a lot of shit, dude. Yeah. Shout out to Walt, man. This just makes me sad. <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Shout out to are Walt. My balls. He's gonna be blown away. Um, so the big English band. Oh yeah, so this is them talking about. Um, here you can pause it. Um, this is them talking about influences for a sec. Like, I mean, they don't really address it specifically, like any accusations of them stealing anything. In this I don't watch the whole thing, but it's just them kind of talking about like rock and roll. This guy's voice is honestly hilarious. He's like such a radio announcer, and this setup of this whole interview is so strange. Room. Here, can you play for a sec? So he stands out. Much been written about how. They took so compressed. Blues. It is it's so like compressed. Exactly. my eardrums. Yeah. It's bizarre. It's, in yeah. Way. He's also they not talking directly. Like it's blow well, it's just kind of great. People were like, oh my God, what is this? You wouldn't want to and do that with that mic. He has no pop filter on it. <laughs> the reinterpretation and okay, watch the seating position they have going on. He's like standing and then they're down there and they're looking up at him. Is that not strange? Okay. What is his outfit? It's very strange. He's just like... Okay, so you get the idea. Ah, no, here's, here's, let's, wait, let's hear what he says. Oh, wait, oh, okay, play it. Growing up, for for what we've listened to in our youth, which was like blues music and everything that they were. The, those Otis guys. Redding, I read. The oh, stuff, yeah. that, the stuff that they're saying is like was technically true, but he's just like sounding like he's so prophetic. Yeah, about this it. is like what a forty-five-year-old man right, how he talks about his life, but he's like twenty-two. Oh. So they perform. They do a little Anyone live session. Like So if they perform, and it, it's just like the way that, so the guy's like standing above them and they're looking up. So when he's singing, he's like looking at him, but he's still sitting down. 
And so he's moving his arms. And so just play it and just laugh. Yeah. Whether or not you think it's funny. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He's just like staring at the guy, the radio announcer. They're serenading him. The, and it's just like a, the, a power dynamic in like the seating position that this guy has for his radio show. <laughs> Dude, I would fall asleep to that sound right there. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, he's destroying. It just his, sounds so tell. dumb. He's like, like oh, I Brody. love speeding. He's not gonna be able to sing like this for more than five oh, years. No. That's a good think. point. Yeah, he's gonna blow it out for sure. If he smokes like, it all. He's done. He's gotta point. like be constantly hydrating, constantly singing all the time. Yeah. Um, You're warm. He You're understood warm the water. assignment. The okay, what is this thing? <laughs> I understood the assignment. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, like, I and he's, he's making so eye contact. It's with a the theater kid. It's literally the theater it, it, yeah. kid coming it's out like, of him. Exactly. Not... It's like how belly dancers do it. You know, you got to add some umph to the that's intro. Yeah. It's all, it's, you know, it's, a show, it's showbiz, baby. You know, you, you tell you, it's showbiz. You know, I don't know about tell you, but it's did we showbiz. say that who the other guests we have on the show today? I don't not think yet. we even did. We have, not yet. Not yet. We got we got two guests. I'll just go ahead and or yeah, go for it. Sorry. Yeah, no, we got two guests. We do got two TikTokers. We and we have one one who is an actually both are actually artists. We have Will Double S as well as Drew, Drew Flacco. I was gonna, I was gonna see it. I'm coming your ass, dude. <laughs> Don't get mad. Yeah, we have Drew Flacco. Um, his name's Andrew. Um, and he just released a full album, Psycho. You can go stream it on any streaming platform. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna like just be talking to him about some of the songs and stuff that he's got going. It's a really good album. Full him and album. I um, used to be. In a band together. They and used to be. We, um, in a band know, together. We, we, back in college. Um, band together. Is it Drew, Drew Flacco or Flacco? Flacco. Flacco. Oh, Flacco. Oh, this Flacco? Drew Flacco, yeah. See, I thought you said Flacco, Flacco. so I was like, is he related to Waka in any way? Uh, it's we'll like, uh, I'm, you can ask him. I'm pretty sure it's 100% sure it's Flacco. And then Will Double S is going to. He's gonna give us a performance on the ukulele. The you. So like, and that's gonna Very be nice. Will Double S is another. He's an up and coming artist. So, yeah. And he's gotten the views on TikTok. Maybe Drew Flacco can give him some advice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have just this last clip of Greta Van Fleet, I believe, oh, this is gold. perfectly encapsulates them. It's them trying to be candid. They're at this vineyard, and it speaks for itself. Take it away, Greta Van Dry. Fleet. I like it. It's quite good. It has color. This is, this, this is a, quite a, a pretty color. It's, 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 you know, I don't have to say the color. Color. Oh, it's so, oh, it actually really is amazing. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, Cameron. That's true. Would you like to try it? No Dude, way. This is so boring. Cameron, Why did they upload would you like that? To Why did they film that? Would you like to try a sip of my blush rosé? Yeah, dude. Would you, Mr. Mr. So Keon, would like you like you my Chardonnay? As, as, like White Claw? Or Why not? Buttocks. This I'd is, rather listen to Upper Buttocks. I'd rather, well. I'd rather shit in my hands and clap than listen to them. So that is a loaded statement. Yeah, I think. <laughs> like, if you like Greta Van Fleet, I'm not hating on you. I'm not necessarily hating on them. I get it. But then, if you like Greta Van Fleet, then you obviously have zero like knowledge about yeah. like contextual culture in our music society in America, basically. And you just are you stand out as a dumbass. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call. Them, I'm calling out all Greta Van Fleet fans, simply and frankly. Brevet's just like I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm just never gonna talk to you as a person. <laughs> or like the music itself. Like if, if you can enjoy the music, but r recognize that the band, the people that are in exactly. the band are dummies. They're just as long as you get the bigger things. picture, which is them as just like little suburban tweeny boys, like rocking out Theater with their boys. cocks out. Rocking out with the cock out. Then go ahead. And that's what you like. Then this is what this Do beautiful think. country's about. Yeah. So whatever. But as, it is entertaining to watch them because they're so annoying. As Tupac would say, do your thing, boy. You know, that I... It, boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I knew that tickled a nerve with you, Keon. Isaiah's all about the thug life, so I am about the... I'm little Zay. You know the fucking vibe. Well, this next story, um, we needed a little sweet appetizer before this story because hold this on to your meat. fucking... Hold on to your freaking... I'm sorry, we're trying to make this a little bit more PG-13. <laughs> yeah, where's the parental advisory yeah. there, You're You just got here, so now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but freaking, um, this next story is kind of scary. And yeah. it's kind of sad, and it makes me scared and like hopeless. But it's it, only it's only scary and hopeless if people don't talk about it for that's what true. it is. So, so that's we why are we're doing, doing it. Yeah, because uh, yeah, let's talk about we're it. We're gonna fuck we're gonna call them out. We're gonna put them on blast. Okay. Oh. Calls them we're like not scared. We get fucked ass up. And I'm still boycotting. Okay? 
I no, you're a board crawl. You know you that's say? true. Yeah, you're a board crawl. Our beef goes back. It goes back if to you like. Can I tell? Is about face cock. Sorry, Facebook. Face cock. Facebook sucks. No, it's not Facebook. Mark it's Zuckerberg meta. sucks. It's meta. This is no longer Brevin's now, banter. It's Brevin's boycott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's and true, this yeah. week and forever, we're boycotting Meta Platforms Incorporated, as they are now known. I don't like that. Uh, well, yeah. uh, care to so, elaborate but also, on? it's yeah, not I, more. It's not just a name change. It's it, they're they're trying to rebrand themselves completely, and they're also trying to um, start basically what Mark Zuckerberg calls. I mean. Okay, so he calls it the metaverse. It's called the metaverse, and they're called meta. This is why this is partly why it's so confusing. But Facebook or Meta isn't going to be the only company making stuff for the metaverse. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's it's like a platform. It, I don't know why that confused me so hard, but yeah, basically. So he like it, he wants it to be like another place for people to buy and sell things in terms of economy stuff, which is, I mean, that always sounds great. Like you know, m- more opportunities to um make money and sell things uh, and Bitcoin. do biz yeah sure all that shit Cryptid. um but it comes at a suspicious time it comes at a suspicious time in mark zuckerberg's career and also in facebook's um timeline because if you see on <laughs> point bullet number roman numeral two um this thing called you know it's dramatically called the facebook papers just you know for sensationalism and hollywoodness um of these Journalists who um, basically schmooze this one person who used to work at Facebook um, to reveal some emails and other stuff. Basically, mm. yeah. Uh, it's always yeah. the emails. Uh, it's always the emails, People I know, look, right? People overlook them because they seem outdated now, but don't overlook the email. Yeah, yeah. Uh, email, especially just the ask, ones long Just ask John Gruden. Uh-oh. Because Uh-oh. like <laughs> in his name, it says it's email, which means it's forever email. <laughs> that's, that. that's one way of putting it. That's so an much easy way to sense. remember I mean, it. He stands put for it more simply than that. If it was any other letter, then they it wouldn't make sense. No, but John Green e? will tell you they'll find it. <laughs> but so okay, so basically, what they say, um, what these emails expose and show, is that Facebook something that everybody's always kind of like thought for a while, but that Facebook blatantly and purposefully puts misinformation, uh, hate speech, and all these other things. They manipulate um, and propagates stuff. it on purpose to. Um, you know, make more money and stuff and all that good stuff. So basically it was, there's like proof to that. And they, it's been like the Congress, the Congress, Congress <laughs> wants, um, you know, to do like an oh, investigation on it. And so they're requiring to, they're going to all have a copy of the emails, literally like Ooh. they're going to be looking through this girl's emails, which sucks while she's in front of them. Imagine that. Ooh. Imagine being in front of Congress the and Congress, they all have a copy of your emails and you're just like looking. That's at a them. lot of pressure. But the Congress doesn't understand the Facebook well, or the yeah, email. so they're gonna be like, a so uh, explain to me. Do you have you seen that clip of them questioning him about Instagram, and one of the dudes calls it Finsta? He uh, thinks it's called. Finsta. Oh, and he has to explain and, it, right? and he corrects him, and he just yeah. keeps calling it Finsta. Like they don't have any clue. It's th- th- those are always rough to see. I know, right? Um, I, they so they they uh, they have a YouTube channel, Meta. They uploaded almost an hour and a half long video about Metaverse, but. I'm just, I just jumped in in the middle just because, like, you only have to watch a couple seconds of Mark Zuckerberg and you're like, oh, this. He's a robot. What's up with this guy? Like, there's He's something wrong with this guy. He's artificial human intelligence. So, this is him talking about gaming in the metaverse. Ooh, gaming? Let's play the Biggest some games. entertainment industry by far. Gaming in the metaverse is going to span from immersive experiences in fantasy worlds to bringing simple games into our everyday lives through holograms. Maybe you'll play old. Okay, why? <laughs> Why do you need fake chess? Yes, exactly. When there's real, real chess. chess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That we already made that, but it you can like touch I mean, it like, and pick the... it up. It's like it's really al- cool. It's like almost like we already have that. Like and they have made. all kinds. They have wooden ones and like ceramic. I feel like this clay. is a cardinal sin, like trying to reinvent the wheel. Uh-huh. Games in new ways. But so, that's just one uh, thing. Barcelona, huh? <laughs> well it's shut the fuck up. Not New York. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, no, I like it. This is... so you're a wise guy. What's that? What's that? Let me so put my game face on so I can. Oh, now he has a line on his face. Ah, okay. Check. With oh, players from dark. around the world. Day. I mean, this sucks. Suck. Oh, look at his avatar. Oh, how do you oh okay. Screw your ads. No, We're no, done no. with that. No, not anymore. So yeah, it's freaking weird. I don't like it at all. It's scary. Um, yeah, it's, so like, they're um, totally. It's, it's like they're trying to. Um, so, like, when you make a product or something, you're trying to solve a problem. 
You know, that's how you sell it. Like you're fixing a problem. This would have been a thing when lockdown was a thing, when you couldn't go out, when you couldn't see people. Right. Exactly. And that would be cool. So it's almost like but hopefully he knows leave. that pe- yeah, dude. higher ups are planning to make that happen again. And people are going to be right, forced. Dude. So it's like, here we go. You don't need to see people in real He's life. with China have, for the next like, coronavirus. Screw oh, you. Yeah. I'm playing chess with my homies in real life. I'm doing stuff in real life. I'm this, kind of have real interactions, live a listen, real life. I don't, I don't like it one bit either. This virtual reality shit not. is literally getting out of hand because people are reading. People are reenacting traumatic events. I've seen virtual reality. I mean, I know this has nothing to do, but this I'm ha- I'm a VR. Sh- yeah, like, I'm, I know this isn't really re- in relation to metaverse, but I know no, it, uh, it is. On that's the, all VR, yeah. So yeah. I've seen like clips of on YouTube of people playing oh VR dot uh, um nine eleven reenactment. See if you can escape. Who the fuck oh, wants God, to react? Awful, yeah. uh, try to ex- try to escape. Sense. Try to escape the uh, the the, the Titan- Titanic when it sinks. It's like who the fuck well, that wants didn't to happen? So. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. We no, about... wait. It did happen. It was no, just wait, no. Planned. Also, you haven't seen the movie. Also, <laughs> to reiterate what Brevin said moved. last year, fuck the Federal Reserve. But that's another podcast episode. Well, now um, I'm curious how what did, how old were y'all when you first got Facebook? Because that was the first social media I don't platform. Facebook. I, I got never had Facebook. I was like, my whole life is complete Sixth boycott grade. of Facebook, and I'm never changing that. I was 20 years old when I got 20? Facebook. I was 20. See, I was literally 10, yeah, but was, like was, 11 oh years God, later, I'm like. We have it's just interesting to see. Sweet baby Ray's. <laughs> oh my god! So sweet baby Ray. Shout out to I Sweet wasn't, baby Ray. I wasn't gonna true. get it, but my professor made me do it for one of my classes. I would refuse. And sports take like, was they? Well, was, yeah. <laughs> they can't yeah. make you shameless join plug. Facebook. There's nothing wrong with that. The man can. But yeah, like I guess I have my own. I have my my own little personal opinions on virtual reality oh. and how what people eventually, I feel like, are just gonna be so reliant on it. And like with this metaverse bullshit, like I feel like people are gonna be so much less able to socialize with people. People are gonna be like walking with their fucking VR headsets. Hello, it's Hello. literally like Wally. Hell, it's gonna. Oh my, yeah, the <laughs> alternate fat as shit. Wally. So like, people need to reject this. This is not cool at all. You need to reject this. It's like almost not an option. It's That's cool. True, yeah. it's, it's so you bad. feel like we're straying away from actual reality. I think Mark to Mark is It's just like ridiculous. Like it's 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 gonna. I feel like I don't know if you're trying to make the connection to that movie Wally. Like I mean, like no, like remember the beginning of Wally? They're all fat and like just. That's what this is gonna happen. With, yeah, that's, that's what literally this what's is. Gonna, gonna happen. But They're, I don't think I think most people want to just live. In the real world, like they want to experience. Nature well, I wonder what Boosie has to say about this because him and Mark Zuckerberg got a little bit of beef. Oh, they do. So could be here on a bike. It's funny because one of my teachers uh, made the point. This is, I guess, sort of kind of related to um, VR. Is why I also made the same point on another episode on the podcast on how people now are so much more willing to meet their spouses or mates, or whatever, through these dating apps rather than going and literally meeting these people in person because it's so much harder. Because right. people now, I really, they really don't know how to socialize. It's easier to literally talk to a girl, talk about all these things, all these stuff that's wrong about you, over texting. Literally going to your, your face and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm I have a six pack, I'm um, six foot three, two hundred fifty pounds. You know, I went I play football. You can lie and say that shit on fucking uh-huh. like, on like Tinder and shit. But once you see some, you can't say shit in person. She look at you, you'll be like a five hundred pound man." And she's like, yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't play football. Catfishing like, is very much a real thing. And this one's an avatar. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, like this shit is just like. Uh, is that all we got on Facebook? There's probably some more stuff, um, but we do have two guests waiting. Um, yeah. Oh, Brevin, this. Okay, wait. Do that last link. You're gonna like. We're gonna like yeah, this. This one is a. This seems like the best. If one. you can see what is about that. Yeah. Is this just so cringe yeah, to me? Interesting. We got um. What is this? Mr. Mr. Jerry Seinfeld. You can tell he just paid him great, to like Mark. come and do some like press thing. <laughs> Why is it like no 260p idea. right now? The quality <laughs> is so low. Like this is his HD. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, so definitely Mark Zuckerberg like basically forced Jerry Seinfeld to do this, and he doesn't he doesn't understand Jerry's what level Jerry Seinfeld is on in his life and who he is, and you can already tell Jerry Seinfeld is like what whatever. Like, yeah. what is this? What am I doing? Like, oh, what is friends. Facebook? Oh, yeah, Mark He's is la- obviously Jerry's creeping in his laughing jeans. laughing at him. Mark is trying to laugh with him. Q&A. You want to you take some questions? Yeah, with me? sure. What All right, this is going to be good. Here, we should just, we should just pick I don't like how yeah, awkwardly they're, they're legs angled. Are yeah, yeah they're I don't like. They're so close to each other. It's just like. Almost legs are like over way. each other. It's like, it just looks. It's, it's extremely uncomfortable how close they are right now. Yeah. They're like sitting at a corner of a couch, like yeah. at ninety. He's degrees adjacent. To each other. No, he's like like Mark like Zuckerberg is like, to is, each other. Or, yeah, I guess. I was and also, Zuck's uh, legs are spread open towards him. 
Yeah. Sometimes Indicating that he wants to. Interesting at all. Suck wants all to right, fuck. Well, what, I, I, <laughs> what I would like to know. First of all, I'd like to know what time you woke up. We don't. We don't need to watch the whole thing. I just thought the whole general situation was bad. Yeah. Mark yeah. is like. Yeah. Yeah. He's like <laughs> staring at Jared. Like. Staring oh, yeah. into his You soul. don't like these? Well, improvise. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, that's creepy. Yeah, Mark is... Um, I think Brevin just around. fell in love with Isaiah the way he was looking at him. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that's, it. No, that's, that's how much sweet. Mark Zuck was like in that. love with Jerry. Because um, right now we're going to go talk to uh, Drew Flacco or Flacco? Because I'm, I've been fucking I up. It's Flacco. Right? I know, but I keep on want to say Flacco. I want to say Flacco. 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 It's, it's, I keep on... Yeah, it's Spanish. Flacco. Oh, uh, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Andrew. You will know what he's saying. Just a quick question. Do you get a lot of ASAP Rocky jokes based off of that? No, nah, not yet. I mean, I'm so early in my music career. Like, I don't think I... I had a dream that, like, I guess he knew about it. And we were just, like, in this hallway and stuff with all these artists and stuff. We were just chilling. So, I guess, like, <laughs> I don't know. He's so, it's like, cool he's pretty dream. flacco and you're cute flacco or something? Yeah, his spell with a K. Like, my... Yeah. I just... I just like the normal way like because yeah i don't really receive okay, okay either he just says it yeah um well andrew you have a new album that just came out right yes sir uh Sick i dropped of. it yesterday halloween Dang. oh that's spooky, spooky. Er, er, uh, uh, yeah spooky, but now you know it's like it's spooky but then like <laughs> as soon as november 1st hits then it's like christmas yeah. trees up <laughs> and yeah. you should have added a christmas, christmas little, little christmas little fucking sleigh bell jingle or some shit <laughs> <laughs> that's true we should write yeah. a um a christmas trap beat or something we oh, gotta yeah. make like some like christmas trap music yeah, yeah. like gucci man put some sleigh bells and stuff <laughs> saint brick intro <laughs> drew what kind of music do you make <laughs> um I honestly don't even know, man. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like I could say it's like it's a lot of hip hop, but you know, I came from more like a background, like playing guitar. I was like into classic rock and stuff when I was younger, so like that kind of bleeds over. But it's like mainly beats, um, mm, just I like you. yeah. Versus, like, I think um, a, tell alternative me alternative sound. Yeah, tell me if I'm wrong with this, but I think you were telling me, um, you know, before this came out, while you're writing these songs, even maybe, but about how you're wanting to like keep the trappiness. Um, and then, but also like incorporate like, things like acoustic guitar and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, the first track on the album is just like purely acoustic. Um, I had a friend like lay down some violin, but then I kind of chopped it up a little bit and stuff. So it's like, right, yeah, yeah. We were like, actually listening to that element. right before we started. Yeah, with everything, it's kind of there's like hip hop elements, but there's also just yeah instrumental stuff going on. Like, so yeah. I don't know. I guess you could say it's mainly hip hop, but like, uh -huh. just, well, you're and you're also not, like singing over it too. I would say too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, it's like a lot of it will be melodic, but then some of it, like, I just kind of like, I don't know, I just have fun rapping, like, um, and I'm like, in a little group, I found this collective, like, I met most of everyone I know through music now, like, off of, like, TikTok. Um, oh, shit. So, yeah, like, it's actually insane. Just, yeah, like, it's, and then, like, the crazy thing is, I'm in this, I'm, like, in this group, uh, we're called Code Wolves, and um, I met this guy, like, I guess he came across my videos, um, and he like he was way bigger than me like i just started on tiktok i had like i started in january like uh -huh. um so i had like zero followers at the beginning of the year and um i just like i was coming up with new year's resolutions and stuff and i was like i want to get serious about music so i was like you know this is like a huge opportunity obviously everyone knows now um but i was like i need to just try to post like a couple times a, a week or whatever like once mm -hmm. a day so i made that my goal and then like not too far into that this dude with like he's got like four hundred thousand followers now i think um his name is jorge he made he's the um <laughs> the family like you know the fast and furious like you've probably seen like those videos or like, i got family that's him <laughs> <laughs> like, but he's out of california um so i met like he found my videos and reached out to me and he was like yo you want to join this group and i was like yeah um that sounds dope so i did that in about march and ever since then it's just like i met more and more people and then uh the dude that started the group he is actually from atlanta so i met them mm -hmm. and we kind of all like met up in real life yeah, then we, ATL. Like, but yeah, <laughs> so yeah then i'm like saying. more with the atl people and um i mean y'all are in like you know charleston and stuff so that's like Chat. that's even closer so Sox. um Sox this. Yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah um okay wait so tell me about designing the album cover because 
Shit's fire. Shit, it is fire. Oh yeah. Fire. yeah. No, I um, I I've been drawing since I was a little kid. Like in school, I had like super bad ADHD, so like <laughs> I would be drawing in my notebook and stuff. And yeah. teachers are just like, "You yeah, focus." I'm like failing my classes. <laughs> um, like, but True. yeah. So like, tra- drawing was a huge part of my uh, childhood and stuff. But I got away from it when I started making music. But it's cool that I came back because I got this drawing tablet. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I just like. I started figuring out how to use that. Like that was the first thing I did with it was make the album cover. Um, oh, really? Nice. That's cool. I just kind of traced over the pictures of me and the other two dudes I met in the group. Uh, and um, because those like, are they have some features on the album, right? Yeah, they they've got two songs each, and then I've got yeah. three songs solo. So it's a, a nice. total of seven songs. Oh yeah, nice. How do you go about, I guess, constructing an album? Like, what is like, I guess, step one? So I guess like this, the last of like, how do you go about producing it and like recording? Like what made you, I guess, like decide to do this as a songwriting process, I guess you mean? Yeah. Like the um, process yeah. more? Well, like n- I've realized <laughs> now, like <laughs> that, yeah, the process. Um, <laughs> the process, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The process. The journey. Yeah. You got to make um, the sausage somehow. So it, it's crazy because like I, <laughs> this is a off topic, but I've seen like, uh, like I've this is the first time meeting you, Isaiah, but I've seen you on TikTok like all the videos. Like, ah, yeah, <laughs> but I just, like couldn't stop laughing when I saw you because I was like, oh my god, I just kept thinking of all these like, videos on the street. <laughs> but yeah, I met Cam um like three years ago now. It's been a long yeah, time like yeah. already. Um, but yeah, I met him when uh, he was going to App State and like I just moved up there because of my ex. And so I was just working and stuff. But like I got into the music community there and that was before I started uh, really trying to take being an artist seriously and stuff. I was just like playing in a band and going to open mics and stuff. So I met uh, Cam after I met James and that was like Slurp Wave. Yeah, James, yeah. Um, yeah, so we found that. <laughs> yeah and I, like we came out with an ep and everything but like we we're just mainly jamming yeah it's mm-hmm. on spotify mm-hmm. um but yeah we were mainly just like jamming and stuff um but like i really liked songwriting a lot so like mm-hmm. when i came back here and stuff i just uh or even before i came back here it was like towards the end of me being in boone i was just um yeah i wanted to like get better at songwriting and make a bunch of songs so i like tried to go for like a full-length album so um that was my first project was uh bad programming and um yeah it was like not really well like it no like mixing or mastering (laughs) like whatsoever like it's just like i like produced i was making beats i was like playing guitar i like just recorded and like came up with ideas and stuff. i just tried to make as much as i could i got out Uh like 45 minutes nice um but that's really important for sure just doing yeah it. so like that was exactly, like yeah i don't know i think it's just about just making songs because yeah. at first i was mm-hmm. just tripping overthinking everything mm-hmm. and i was like racking my brain especially since i wasn't as good as freestyling like as oh, like yeah, uh, thing, yeah. like or rapping as i was like with playing instruments and stuff or making beats like i wasn't as good at that as like playing guitar and all that and you, um, you just like you learn so much yeah and like you learn so much more for just from doing it honestly than just by like yeah and, and like things. i still have like a like place in my heart for all those songs i made even though like they aren't like i know they're not going to be like the biggest songs i have or whatever like they they just don't have that quality Mm -hmm. um i don't know the i think like the songwriting like in the first songs i made like yeah that's um that's kind of like what i admire about those songs but yeah yeah i got that out of the way i keep getting better as i go along so it's just like make songs like yeah. just like no you can uh, de- definitely tell songs. like um there's a difference especially in an artist's like career and it feels different like i don't know speaking from like trying to do the process at least but like when you have something to say versus when you like obviously don't have anything to say as an artist or like you know whether it's words or just like you know sonically like you know in your art um and it's if also you, the art of consistency, you know, just that's staying true, that's at true, yeah. it. Yeah. If you're just like doing it, then that's uh, what makes people like respect you. Like, this is actually what I do. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, um, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no. You go. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, I was going to say, or I mean, yeah, sorry. I thought you finished speaking. Um, oh, one no, of the no, no, biggest no. artists I look up to is Russ. And not even because like, I don't not, have alpha brain. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Joe Rogan Let's just uh, stopped by for a second. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Russ, him. like he was just like killing it, and he doesn't like a lot of people aren't even familiar with a lot of his songs. I guess like I'm not like mm-hmm. super like into his music as much as like just what he stands for and like um his like grind. Like 
yeah. you know he like put out a song every single uh, week for like a year or whatever and that's how he blew up and then he's made like over 10 million dollars or, or no i forget it was like over a hundred thousand a month at Holy one crap, point holy shit um, he's like his net worth i guess is like 10 million for an independent Jeez, artist is like yeah. crazy yeah for real um, but yeah, that was I'm, all off of like two four yeah and that's i'm glad you brought up russ because as an independent artist like he gets a lot of hate for certain things but in regards to like his craft like you really gotta bow down because you know he was consistent he never gave up you know he did clearly did it because he enjoyed it and you know it paid for him in the long yeah. run and you know he's gonna keep doing his thing so damn who what, what's the criticism that he's getting for that or like what'd you say what, what's the criticism that he's getting kind for of a that? douche or like it, it uh, kind of started well, it really like he got a lot of hate and stuff after he posted on twitter um saying something about uh people who over or who do like uh perks and lean or whatever oh yeah it was just like super it was like how much lean do you have to do before you're cool or something yeah it was it's just kind of like pretentious and but, like smarmy yeah so then I Smoke Perp was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and like, it's yeah. Sound, the yeah. SoundCloud like, rapper boss. <laughs> and then yeah. he sent his goons to go be his ass. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But yeah, man, I mean, I think it just like the industry already wanted to hate him. So like, yeah, he's independent. Uh, yeah. They kind of yeah, exactly, yeah. He's not following the rules. Like, it's not like they don't want independent artists to like, you yeah. know, figure out how to do this stuff ourselves. That's yeah. what everybody like that I've been around and stuff. And like, Country you guys are diverse. also doing yeah it's just Nashville. like Nashville. yeah you're not gonna make it country but, music if you don't know the execs in nashville that's just yeah like i mean fact. yeah that's like where they all sucks. are bred there's some like a, there's, a, there's a couple that slipped through because oh, people well, demand that it. guy that um that brevin we met at the show in atlanta for uh -huh. magdalena bay he, at um, atl yeah see he, he, atl, yeah, the ATL <laughs> yeah yeah we were at atl um but i think he was from what's it called nashville well, he no he's like been the, didn't you say he's been going to nashville or is he to on, shows I, th I think he said that he went to, went to school in Nashville, and I don't know. It seemed like he, there was a you know like a small underground music scene in Nashville. It's not like the big country stars and everything. Yeah. Um. So I mean I don't know, but yeah, definitely Nashville could. It seems like a potentially it's toxic definitely place. Definitely the music industry as a whole. Yeah. I mean, if you just look at Memphis, like a lot of like you know. At first, it was like Yo Gotti and Young Dolph, but then in the yeah. last money bag. four years, is it, is it you money got bag, like yo? the Money Bag Yo's, the Pooh Shies, the, the, the Big Thirties, the you know, you know, and you know, yeah. everyone else. I'm not mentioning. I have but. not heard of any of those names, but it's just they're the rappers. Thinking about it, yeah. no, <laughs> they have. There's like it's funny because like, I know country rap. You said no, it's not country oh, rap. Oh, oh this okay. is just hip. Sorry, this is rap. Sorry, that's not what This is crazy. I know we talked about this before, Cameron, on how all these different cities have their own, like even like something as small as Charleston. Charleston, we have our own sound. Atlanta has their own sound. They you just said uh, Nashville or Memphis. Memphis, Memphis yeah. has their own sound. Totally, New York. Yeah. I mean, and it's anywhere. Chicago, anywhere, Atlanta, yeah. like there's Florida, their own, you know, Coast. Miami. Like, <laughs> like yeah, like because there's, there's like France. Compton, there's like Panhandle, Florida, China. South <laughs> China Florida. Rap is on another yeah. level. It's like the, the, the cool thing, like now, the cool thing about like the internet and stuff is it's making it possible for like smaller towns and stuff, like yeah. places that like so, Charleston. Like I guess y'all could have some. Um, for sure, but like you know, it's or not like Atlanta. It's, yeah, it's totally York. different. Yeah, there's no, Rocker. Yeah. Like that's but like you know, year. like Asheville. We don't even have any artists I know of that like right come up like it would be the same thing as kind of I think for Charleston's Asheville is like there's probably like one or two local bands who aren't gonna ever go as yeah. further than that. Like right. stoplight, stoplight observations. Stoplight that's like, the one here that we I I have great disdain for them. They <laughs> make me cringe like Greta Van Fleet. But like <laughs> it's also interesting to see like it's interesting to see those cities that haven't had anyone yeah. blow. It's like who's gonna be that first person to make that big like breakthrough? Jack Harlow. Because you had the baby uh, with Charlotte. Like he, you know, brought in Stunner for Vegas, you know, yeah. and then it's just brought in a whole nother wave of people. Someone else Karen doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. That, no, I mean I, like <laughs> Uh, Jack like, Harlow, yes, Kentucky. Crazy thing. Kentucky yeah. Shooting in Asheville, like I was shooting the music video oh, um, oh, right, for yeah. the album, and like you know, we've got like the mountains here and everything, and like mm. obviously you can tell it's Asheville, like uh, whatever spots we're recording there, like downtown and stuff. Um, but like I haven't seen any other artists like film music videos and shoot them, and put them out from here, really. Um, who they who do, shot really that? Um, who shot the video for you? Dude, that's what I'm saying about the independent grind. Oh, like, yeah. uh, me and my friend, we literally made the song together. It was us two. Like, it was oh, me and I. Yeah. 
featured my friend uh his artist name is litwick but we uh cool. we filmed it like just like taking turns and then we oh, set yeah. the camera up at one spot but yeah we That's did that and we're editing it all ourselves and stuff so self-made. yeah like, i mean like yeah, yeah like yeah. independent artists you have to basically wear multiple hats and be able to do like five jobs yeah i mean nowadays too it's just like everybody's doing it, so that's like just the standard exactly. like back in the day the market too. you know in like the 80s or 90s or whatever like even then like you know all you had to do was like be marketable and stuff and like uh-huh. approach a label and be super talented and you could just you know sing and uh yeah they'll have know, like a whole team of people just there to just like push yeah. you up everyone and, else is in all the other so it's like kind of like a beauty and a curse, like the means of production are like not as expensive or out of reach. So like everybody can do yeah. it. But at the same time, now it's actually up to you and like there's no excuses, which is daunting yeah. as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's like and it's like more competitive. So it's like you have yeah. to work harder, but it's also like things are more possible now than ever. Exactly. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of all this kind of. I'm going to use this as a segue into Greta Van Fleet. How do you, we, we were talking about this, like is one of our topics this episode, but I'm sure, you know, we don't have to explain out the situation to you. Would you have any thoughts or opinions on it? Hot takes? Well, he's oh, thinking yeah, some hot tea. Yeah, he's yeah, getting, he's, 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 he's got the tea. Um, yeah, man. Uh, hot take. I don't know. Like, um, Greta Van Fleet, like I, I haven't paid attention to them very much. That's like, good. No, to, good for you. That's the best much. answer. Um, but like yeah i remember when they first came out and everything like uh they they just like it just lacks originality yeah right? <laughs> like, yeah okay it um, feels like i mean especially plastic. since was it was it robert plant or like oh. who uh, yeah, gave them like the cosign oh no no, no. um it was, it no, i don't think plant. anyone it has at, at least that i know <laughs> we just watched a video of robert plant saying that he hates they, them Oh, I thought at one point that they like approved of them, but then they okay. pretty much Greta Van Fleet was like, uh, "Yeah, we aren't inspired by them whatsoever." Yeah. It's like, dude, yeah. you sound exactly like them. <laughs> it's like uh, it, there's no. That's what makes it the most cringe for me. The influence. But anyway, we don't need to give them any more airtime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're um, on the head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> When's that music video coming out so that people know? Um. I have it all edited. I just need to like uh-huh. color grade it. That's another thing. Like, I am I'm a decent like f- like video creator, but like I'm not like to the point where I know all of my shit about like sure, color yeah. grading and like all the like stuff like that. I so know nothing about color grading. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, grade. like an A plus. <laughs> how do you grade colors? <laughs> all I, I feel like it's kind of like when you put too many effects on songs and stuff. It just kind of like yeah, that's true. You, you can it sounds really good, and then it just like <laughs> it looks like trash. Sh- it's schlop. Yeah, it's like schlop. You want yeah. sloppy songs? You can't schlop it yeah. up. Yeah, it's easy to add too much sauce to where it just like oh, yeah. it's like you get lost ridiculous. in the sauce as some too much yeah. sauce. Yeah. Um, yeah like, well. You follow Drew Flacco on Instagram at Drew underscore Flacco, TikTok at Drew Flacco. Um, you don't have to go anywhere, I, Drew. You can stick around. Um, we're going to keep talking for a bit. And I think we're going to get to Will Dub. Who, who is playing right now? I'm music. playing it out with his songs. Oh. Pro- that's production. <laughs> just go. Just go. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for. I'm glad we could get you to talk about it. Thanks, Drew. Yeah. yeah no, don't I go anywhere. Just stick around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Super honored to be Big on this Flacco. podcast. Absolutely, man. It was our pleasure, our honor. Fly hat. Um, wait, so actually... Thank you for that. Ooh, that was right. Like that's how you fucking do it, boys. That shade DJ was, Brev. Oh my God. Manual, too. That's all manual. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm kind of ruining what I'm talking about, but just... That, that is, is NBC part. level. DJ Brev Zeppelin. Yeah, yeah DJ Brev Zeppelin. Exactly, yeah. Just like yeah, some yeah, crazy yeah. shit. Um, so, you may have heard of Will Double S8. Some may call him a... Young lad. Um, I'm up and coming TikTok, artist, yeah. up and coming okay. TikTok celebrity. Oh um, yeah, a budding, sprouting root flower. Um, he's here to play us some ukulele. He's gonna strum the four string and sing with his golden pipes on the classic folk instrument. I think you're muted. Yep. No. Uh, I, we got you now. Am I good now? You're good. Yeah, you're good. Sure. Right. Beautiful. Yep. All right, Will. So, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no. Um, shout out your Instagram handle so people can go and follow you. Yeah, so my Instagram handle is will double s underscore music, and yeah, oh no, will double underscore s underscore music. That's it. Gotcha. Hell yeah! All right, take it away. Sex has a charm. Okay, this is my uh, song that I wrote a while ago called "Ordinary Girl." So.
My bad. Um, should I be recording my vocals separately? Or... <laughs> should he? You could probably do yeah. yeah, I think you're good. You're all set. Well, you can, I'm, you can I'm keep going. Good? Yeah. Okay. You you guys mean, it'd, be, okay. It'd, be, I, it'd be better quality, so it's up to you if you want okay. it to be better. Yeah. I just like, I started the song. And I was like, hold up. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh. Oof. Okay. Cut, cut. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, it's Simon Cowell. What's going on? Don't worry. It took us like it took you're us like thirty bah. minutes to just get our audio going. Yeah. Oh, we got the sound drops, dude. You got you're the ribbing sound. You've <laughs> only heard a, t- a little touch. <laughs> Take it away. We're like, okay, it's so with a bowl. We got sound drops, good, dude. We got good, sound. Good, ready whenever good. you are, Will. Just, the sta- the stage is yours. Will Double S, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One more time. Ordinary girl. My apologies, girl. I'm sorry for what I've done. I've been messages be left on red. I'm fixing real quick. Hey, you're no ordinary girl. No, you know. But it feels so much like one it feels like yours broke up and Every time I see your oh face I remember all we talked about Oh, we've done I can do good, I'm a good boy No, no Yeah, thanks. Is that song out or are you releasing it soon? Um, uh, story time. Is that okay? Um, I let's get it. Yeah, real quick. Um, yeah. So like, it's released, but like, it's released from whenever I didn't know anything about mixing, mastering, Mm -hmm. producing. Recording. It's one hundred percent. It is. So so what you're saying is it's going to be a remaster version. Yeah, I'm planning on remastering. It's produced in your testicles. What about testicles? <laughs> it's produced. What did he say? He said this is the apple juice. For, this is the juice that we're giving. This is what this I. Juice. This is what they have to deal with. This is, this is, yeah, every time we talk, camera just random just hits the button and yeah, it's, it's, we you, got a sound you, drop. You just be, you get used to it. It's like tinnitus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ninety percent of my tinnitus was caused by slurp wave. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we did not wear earplugs. Uh, that was horrible, man. How, like, I, I honestly, it's gotten so bad at this point. Dude, how many, how many boys did we pack into one room like sardines? <laughs> Bro, that jam session. Honestly, when I got my tinnitus, like it was, I remember that night. I will never forget. It was horrible. Like, like we, we were in their small ass little living room in the greenhouse. Yeah. Like you know, shout out the venue. I guess they're still doing shows. They look lit all the time. Mm. But um. We had, you know, obviously when, like, part of the reason why I started, like, I got my mini log and started playing synth and stuff was because we had, like, three people playing guitar. Yeah, right, yeah. I was like, well, so, I guess um, there's enough guitar, so I think we need there's bass. There's probably three guitars. There's bass cranked all the way up. Like, oh, James is, yeah. like, just slamming on the drums, like, the, the playing bass. open hats and stuff. And, like, then, oh. like, the synth and everything, like, all of the, like, with so many decibels. That, the like, the open just, hats, like, right next to that. Yeah, just, that'll so destroy you. Yeah, man, and in that small room, like, dude, my ears just ring so much. It's really bad. 
So I recommend any like s- musicians that like haven't earplugs. fucked their hearing yet wear earplugs. Like and if you do construction, you will do yourself a favor. You will you thank yourself. Yes. <laughs> Power tools and yeah, music. Yeah, too. Yeah. Nail guns. Which true, by the way, if you ever want to come down here and have a construction job, I can hook you up. <laughs> That's not a joke. Uh, I'm trying to get out of that. <laughs> no, but yeah. Oh, wait, you were saying that. Well, see, yeah. Are you trying to I get like hard to labor construction? Through. Yeah, I'm working like multiple jobs right yeah. now and like trying to do music at the same time. It's Yeah, I get you. Because yeah. I do sure. trim, Very, which uh, is pretty mostly low key. Yeah, no, so. that's cool. Yeah. Um. Well, I think that's about all we got, guys. Yeah. Thanks everybody yeah. for joining. Thanks for joining. Um, Jam packed. Yeah, it was an amazing like episode. Apple just too. Drew, thank you for joining. Yeah. yeah. Will, thank. You. Thanks for joining us. Thank too, you guys. guys. Appreciate Appreciate you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. It was our Appreciate absolute pleasure. It. Yeah. Uh, again, stream Drew Flacco on Spotify. Follow him at Drew underscore Flacco on Instagram. And at Drew Flacco on TikTok. Big Drew, big Will. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks, man. Talk to you soon. Peace out. It's the Apple Juice for Two mic drop. We'll talk to you later. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah, baby. Get, get, get. Rock, rock. Ever on, on. Ever, ever, ever on, on. Skip. Apple Juice for Two. Am's depression. Apple Juice for Two. Don't say you shit. Don't say you shit. Don't say you I do not know how to stop recording. I don't want to hang up.